and welcome to OTE Pro Day 2022. I am Alex Day alongside the GM of OTE, Damian Wilkins. We have over 90 scouts, GMs, execs in the building here, and I couldn't be more excited. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Having a lot of fun watching our guys get out here compete in front of some people that, that that's making some some decisions about them in their near future. Absolutely. So we had the individual drill section earlier today. Then we had four on fours. And now it's the fun time. Now we have the five on five scrimmages. Yeah, this is what I think uh, our guys are waiting on. And um, I was waiting on this, uh, you know, to do it right at the end. The, the, the strategy behind that is just showing your toughness. You went through about an hour and a half, two hours of skills and drills and all those type of things. And now, you know, you get down to seeing who can really play basketball. You know, for the individual drills, I feel like that's more mental because those are drills that you do every day, but now you have a lot of eyeballs watching. Yeah. Then we go out to the scrimmage, that's basketball. Like, that's, basketball. that's free form. This is a time for these guys to show really what they can do, what they can't do yet, and, and get a good evaluation of, of who these players are. Yeah, for sure. I mean, these guys can go out here now and show all the things that they can do on both ends, show how they, you know, the type of teammates that they can be, um, and show off their range, show off their basketball IQ, Who's a playmaker? Who's a defender? Things of that nature. Um, so, be exciting, exciting ten minutes to watch. How important is pro day to not just OTE but these players? I think it's really important just to, to, to allow them the opportunity to get that up close and personal evaluation. Um, and then when we get the feedback, you know, from these guys, we'll share it with our players and let them know, you know, the things that people are saying about them, things that they need to work on, things they need to do more of, less of, um, to help them become pros. So you see the cold hearts here in blue, the City Reapers in black. We have about nine and a half minutes on the clock. And we're playing. We're sorry. We're playing two ten-minute halves, and uh, and and we have a uh, we have a Thompson sighting here. Multiple Thompson sightings. Yeah, got them both out there playing. Asar is a little limited due to an ankle injury, um, but he's still out there competing, doing everything he can do. So so this is their last ride together before they get drafted. Yeah. How exciting is that? Not just. For OT, but for the, for these two guys who grew up together and and are getting to play together one last time. I'm sure it's very excited for them. I'm sure it's excited for them. I'm sure it's exciting for their family uh, to have an opportunity to see them play against each other. And, I mean, with each other. Um, you know, and who knows? You know, I've seen some weird things happen <laughs> yep, in the NBA yep. draft. So, you know, they might get the opportunity to play together again. Uh, but those two together are different. You know, they. It's just different, man. The two you know, most athletic wings we have, the best probably on-ball defenders that we have with them, and Kane and Carlisle included in that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting to see them play together in their chemistry. They've been knowing each other, been around each other all their lives, literally. Um, so, you know, they have, a, they have a distinct chemistry that you see comes out uh, when they're on the court. Got a shot, man. Got to go. And that's good defense right there. Really good defense. Back to the Thompsons. They're projected lottery picks. You know, you see their name floating up and down the draft boards, and people have high hopes for them. And the finish by Buley there. What is their ceiling? Because it seems like it, it is rising by the day. I mean, when you think about it, right? Oh. Like, they're a consistent jump shot away. They're a consistent jump shot away from just... I mean, just taking over completely. Yeah. Um, once they get that down, because they have all the other tools. They have the intangibles. They have the it factors. They have the work ethic. They have the determination. You know, they defend the ball. I mean, once these guys start consistently knocking down jump shots, and that'll happen. They've already gotten better at that. Um, once that happens, you know, more often, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Right. We also see Ryan Buley on defense, number four for the Reapers. Um, 
close to the paint right now. What do you like about his game and as one of the first guys to sign with OTE? How instrumental has that been in his development? You know, he's been in the building here for a while. This as the guy. knockdown shot there yeah, by, knockdown by, by the Bryce Bryce Tiller, the pro. Yep. Uh, Brian is just energetic. You know, he does um, all the dirty work, all the little things. Um, plays hard, great teammate again. Um, you know, that's going to carry him a long way, just those things alone. A little strong from Thompson there. You see Bryce Griggs with the ball in his hands while he just dished it off now. One of the most exciting players here, obviously off the court, a, a very recognizable name, but on the court. You know, he's completely transformed himself from season one to season two. Buley with the with the finish there. No, Bryce has Bryce has done great from year one to year two. Mm -hmm. Came back, totally transformed his body, transformed his mind. Run up, run up. Been doing great on the court, been doing amazing off the court. Uh, he's turned himself, he turned, he's turned himself into a pro. Oh, yes, sir. And the dish. Wait a minute, Tyler. The great, dish. Wait a minute, Tyler. Great pass and, and the finish by side. Tyler Smith there. Nate, not over. Nate, not over. Talk, Tyler. Tyler, I need you, Tyler. Nate, I need you now. Nate, I need you, Nate. Rebound. That's in and run, out for run, Thompson. Run, 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 Who's running? In and out. Run, Tyler. Yeah, like what I call it. Tyler, you got to get out like, the way. I like, I got. Move it. What I like to call Move it. Good miss. Yeah. It's Absolutely. Good miss. Play now, play now, play now. Tyler, should be you, Tyler. Good job, Look at the ball movement. Good job, fellas. Yes. And the finish yes, by get Smith. Back. Match up. Oh, I'm sorry, Tyler, that was Taylor, actually. Yeah, right my right bad, now. my Where bad. Where you at, Tyler? Where you at? Let him through, let him through. Let him through. Get a hand up, right? Gotta guard it. Talk, talk, Tyler. Good job, Tyler. Good job. Nate, get up. Get up there now. Get up there now. Good contest. Good shot. Let's go. Run. Run, BT. Corner, BT. Run, corner, BT. Run, corner, BT. Keep running, Tyler. Watch your back. Go, Nate. Finish. Oh, on the finish from Big Nate. Come on, match up, Nate. With Bring it over here, Blue. Bring it over here, Blue. Bring it over here, Blue. Uh, job, you know, Nate, year job. one, year two, hey, hey. looks like a different guy. Job, what have you seen in his development? His confidence. Hey, listen, bro. His confidence. He dumped right there like yeah. a confident guy. Yeah, I think he's just they got way more comfortable around the guys around this type of this level of competition. We get back over half court, helping tell he was little, um, just up and down because he didn't really couldn't find his role, couldn't find his way. I think now he's just going out there and playing and having fun and just playing the game the right way, doing the right things, and it's showing. It's absolutely showing. Hey, I want to go back to Jakai for a sec. His bounce. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. He can jump out the gym, he can shoot the ball. Um, you don't even have to run plays for him, and he just always, the ball is always fine. The ball always finds him because he, he plays with so much energy. Um, when he's out there being energetic, flying around and attacking the glass, um, just, you know, being a basketball player. That's when he's at his best. Hey, now, now, Edison, any, any uh, no, 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 no. We got four. Just leave, yeah, just leave our man and everybody else is out. Work. Something. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. Did you got it, right? Yes. Oh. One more out. Yes. Yes. One more out. One more out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. One more out. Hey, right now. Right. Malik, Malik, Malik. Hey, stack with a. That's Coach Lado, Coach of the City Reapers. That's one of the coolest parts of this event. Just everyone is mic'd up, and, and you hear these guys getting coached up, and they're getting coached hard, that's for sure. Yeah, they definitely are. Great move, by man. And the rebound, the basketball, good basketball. Yeah, we can't the rebound. We can't rebound work for us. We, I know that from every day we're out here. We don't rebound like a dog diggity. Right? If, if there's one thing we got to do is work on rebounding. Hey, with Bryson Tiller, his uncle, uh, excuse me, his dad was in the NBA was in the it was in the NFL genetics 
big part. And, uh, you know, obviously, you, you know, you have some good genetics as well. How important is that? You know, he's only 16. Only 16. He'll grow, he'll grow into his, his body much yeah, more. You see, see his body's already filling out. You know, you're talking about a sophomore in high school. This kid looked like a, almost like a grown man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Know? Um, still young. Um, still got a lot of growing to do. Uh, just a super talented, versatile, great kid off the court. Um, does all the right things. Oh, just the Euro step and the move. finish. Good execution, Ooh. good execution, good, good execution. It was smooth, too. Did that on a hurt ankle. And the finish at the other end. Good job, ZZ. So that was ZZ Clark, 6'2 guard from LA. What did you like from ZZ? ZZ is a ball player, man. Attacks the basket, plays hard, finishes well. And you know, ZZ decommitted from Illinois, blazing his own trail. When you heard that, what was your reaction? I was happy about that. I want him to, he should blaze his own trail. Um, I know his brother's there. Um, you know, kind of wants to do his own thing, which is admirable. Um, you know, deserves that. He deserves that opportunity. So, you know, maybe, maybe he'll recommit back there. Maybe not. You know, we'll see what happens. But uh, a man owning his own rights, and blazing his own trail, I can never feel upset about that. Absolutely. Find it and talk. Find it and talk. Here, here, here. Weak side. Weak side. Marty. Go, 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 Santo. Right there, right now. So, so you see Santo there, and you mentioned grown man before talking about Taylor. Santo looks like a complete grown man. Oh, he's a monster, man. Monster. I love Santo. Um, got great size, athletic ability, talks on defense, mm -hmm. controls the paint. Um, just a guy that really goes out there and plays hard all the time. Um, doesn't always, doesn't ask for the ball. Just He just plays his role. He stars in his role. We got both Thompsons on the floor here. And Eli Ellis in the corner. There he is again, Santo. Grown man's strength. Get back, get back, get back. You know, Santo's obviously a great rim protector, and, and he's also a force on the offensive end. What's his ceiling? Because it, it looks like he, uh, he has huge things ahead for him. I like, every time I look at him, I like to compare him to Bam Adebayo. Mm -hmm. um, a guy that like has so much room to get better, even he's already good now. You know, can you imagine if he's able to kind of get a mid-range game and put the ball on the floor a little bit to get by the defenders that'll be guarding him? He's gonna be special. Yeah, to, to see guys that big with that athleticism, there, there's there's a high ceiling for guys like that. Griggs with the pull up. Great shot, great shot, good miss. Good look. That was a smart decision by Nate. Get out that, of the that way. Was, that was a business decision. Get us out, get us out. You know, you see Eli Ellis, on-ball defender there for the Reapers. You know, he was the last pick in the OTE draft, and he is he has looked fantastic so far in preseason. And, 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 and he's a dog on the defensive end, especially. Right. He's come in and changed games. Over here, Black. Over here, Black. Everything he does, his energy, his effort, plays here, hard. Again, here, one of those here, guys that here. plays with intentionality. He's just... He's great hey, for your hey, team, this, and he's going to do all the little things. He, he can do all the big things on. if you need him to do that. Um, our, is, you know, just has the right attitude and mindset about so being a great teammate. Offense, just goes out obvious. every night and competes. And you can tell he wants it. Up. He gets better every day. Um, you know, he he he, he and Bryce and Warren, they just they have the the right attitude towards everything that we do here. But if the shot goes up, and I like, now all of a sudden you get guys that shouldn't. Right. The other thing is weak side defense. Let's take a look at the Thompson to Thompson. Mm. That's that synergy. Right. Yep. But. You know, we said it, but I got to believe every single person in the building said all. That, that, that's that twin synergy right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They see it. It's not. It's not. 
Not hard to tell. One, two, three. Keep going, bro. Keep going. You know, we see all these coaching, all these coaches mic'd up for this pro day. Can you talk about the amount of hours and, and time that goes into coaching up these guys? Because, you know, it is, it's very hands-on here at OT, and you can hear it on the court. Oh, yeah, coaches spend a lot of time with our guys, a lot of time in here thinking about ways that we can help get our guys better. Um, KO is a great staff, great group of men who care about our guys, care about their development. Um, you know, they're doing a great job. And, you know, the players are learning to trust them. Um, you know, they got more individual time with the guys this year versus last year. So I think that's really paid off a lot. Attack! 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 A beautiful move. Great move by the league. That's a layup. Three. Bang. That's a layup. Good job. Pass right. Hey. Eli Ellis, who, you know, isn't. He's class of 2026. He's one of the youngest guys here from North Carolina, and, and, and seeing a young guy like that stepping into shots with that confidence is, is important to see it at this stage already. Oh yeah, he's confident. Yeah, he, he, he's confident, but he's he's been in these environments before. Eli has never run from competition. He's played some of the best you know teams in the country prior to him getting here. A lot of the guys that we play, you know, now got on our schedule, he's played against and played well against. So he has every reason to be confident. See Tudor with the ball here. Buley calling for the ball in the block. Oh. Good ball movement there from the Reapers. There you go. Great there ball you go. movement. Good cut. Nice play. Hey, 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 That boy, you got to get in shape. It was a great ball cut, but when he gets side, he becomes deep drop coverage. Huh? Yeah, bro. I don't yeah. think Ryan liked that call very much. What do you think? Well, nah. <laughs> Didn't like that very much at all. No one did. 35 seconds left yeah, in the half. Yeah, Reapers got... up one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watching yeah, OTE yeah. Pro uh -huh. Day. Like We're at OTE weeks. Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. Top, top. We top. Malik now. Go, 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 go. Oh, 20, 20, 20, 20. We have two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Thompson brings the ball up the floor. Foul, foul, take a foul. Reaper's up. Take a foul. 10 seconds left. A reminder, we have one more half coming here. Go, 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 go. Three, two, nope. And three, and three. Hey, in that kind of situation, how many seconds left on the shot clock are you telling telling your guys to get it get it going? Uh, I wouldn't want to take a with uh, only up one. I would want to get it down as close as possible. Try to get a great shot, something going to the basket. Put the onus on the referee to make a call. Of course. Um, usually against the clock and the shot clock, referees are more you know inept to call a foul on that. So mm -hmm. I, I would just say it, be aggressive, get to the Go basket. Get it. Go get it. At least give yourself a chance. Also, give yourself a chance to get offensive rebound. Yeah, man. It's going to be staying here with the Reapers. They got bailed out. They really did. We got one more, we got one more time, right? Thanks, group on. A little bit of confusion there at the end of the half. We have one more half. Up, Reapers up, up, up one. Up. What have you liked about Pro Day so far today? Just the energy. You guys are competing. You guys are playing hard. They understand what's at stake. Um, you know, hopefully what they take away from this is this is the energy and effort that they need every day. You know, they'll be, you know, above and beyond even better than they are right now. They had this type of energy, this type of enthusiasm, this type of effort every single day in the unseen hours. Um, you know, 
that's something that they can take from this that I think will help all of our guys. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I didn't know that was going to happen. So. so the YNG Dreamers warming up. No, yeah, we know that. We know that now. But I, Just I getting ahead of ourselves here a little bit. No, I know what you're saying. Who are, uh, you, you know, we see TJ Clark on the screen right now. Who are one or two guys on the Dreamers that have really caught your eye season two? Oh, Ethan came back playing well. Uh, Jalen Martin done a great job in getting, giving himself a chance to play professional basketball. Obviously, Alex Saar, you know, being just a super different guy, a seven-foot perimeter player. Um, you know, Jay Zion, you know, he's, he's, he's learning to be more consistent and understanding how important it is to be consistent. Um, you know, Kane and Carlisle, and I, and not enough good things I can say about him. And Bryson Warren. Bryson Warren is, has been consistent since day one. Everyday guy comes in, gets his work done, stays after hours, gotten a whole lot better over the summer. Nas Cunningham, a guy that can put the ball in the basket with anyone. Um, you know, I just their whole team, man, like they, they, they have it all. TJ, a guy who's gonna go out, play hard and compete on both ends of the floor every day. John Jackson put a lot of work in this summer to get his body back right and in shape and all of those things are showing. Um, from a development standpoint, improvement standpoint, you know, these guys probably have the most guys on their team that made the biggest leap over the summer. I want to go back to one name you said there, Bryson Warren. What do you think his pro comparison is? Once he, he tightens, he, once he, he, he's got to tighten up his handle a little bit um, to be an off guard and, a, and a, both a, a ball dominant guard. Mm -hmm. um, once he does that, I could see him being a lot like a, uh, a C.J. McCollum type, um, you know, uh, try to think of anyone else. Yeah, you see Bryson Warren, 6'2", 162. You know, he's got the shooting and, and he has that frame, I, but yeah. I agree with what you're saying. And for him, it's going to be his handles, the next yeah. step for him. Yeah, because he's going to be asked to handle the ball a lot more. What about Jay Gordon? You know, anyone around the building says, you know, his not just leadership, but his humor and his energy is, is unique. Yeah. What is he like Ener in this energy, building? Energy, humor, um, it's always a guy, he loves to compete. Um, and, and, and again, once he, on the defensive end is where his, his motor starts. Once I see him out there competing defensively, I know what type of games he's gonna have. Um, on the offensive end, he's rangy, long arms, crafty with the ball, yep. score, athletic, um, does a lot of sneaky things. Got a lot of Jamal Crawford in his game. Okay. Um, you know, just to, if he can become a shell of that and then also continue to work defensively, you know, he's going to give himself a great chance. We are ready to go here. We got the Dreamers. We got the City Reapers. OTE Pro Day, live from Atlanta, Georgia, OTE Arena. Hey, for someone who hasn't been to an OTE game here and hasn't seen what the inside of this building looks like and the energy here, what would you, what, how would you describe it to someone? Probably the best place in the world to play basketball. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, just, we embody everything. Um, our academics team, our health and performance team, our, our coaches and skill coaches, um, you know, our content that we put out there on the, in socials. Um, you know, our, our, our just events team, our communications team, everything we do is first class and everything we do is, is on a level unknown to any high school basketball player in the country. So we are doing everything that we can to elevate their experience as best as we can. So um, I think we're all just kind of working every day to help our program and our players both become just elite. And, and make this an elite environment. And I think we're doing a great job of that. Hit that one, Jakai. Get it up in the air. Off the mark and the rebound by Buell. So with the ball right now, that's Kanan Carlisle. Kanan Carlisle, people, special. People call him K9, and he's stood out to me, you know, a ton in the preseason, off season. He's looked great, as you see the oh, it's gonna say block, but we had a foul there as well. What a dish! 
what have you pass. liked? What have you liked from K9's game? Because when he's on the floor, you can feel his presence. Oh yeah, it reminds you a lot of the Thompsons. It does. You know, um, uh, just a great on-ball defender. Um, good, great score, can shoot it. You know, um, I think that's what separates him from a lot of our other guys is that he can actually he can shoot the ball really well and he plays defense. Like he picks you up 94 feet, competes on the defensive end. Um, you know, a talker, a leader out there, doesn't back down from anything. No. Um, just, you know, the nickname fits. K9. When I I Go, go, go. Asar slightly off the mark there as the Dreamers look to push it. You know, all three of these teams at OTE play pretty distinct styles of offense. Jalen Martin goes to the line. Jalen Martin, there's that guy again. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, first year of OTE, all the teams were playing kind of similar style of offenses, but this year, season two, you see very distinct differences between the Reapers and, and the Cold Hearts and, and the Dreamers. Yeah. Um, you know, the teams are set up interesting. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Dreamers got a lot of size. Um, Reapers got a lot of defense. Talk to him, talk to him. Um, Cold Hearts got a lot of finesse. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to beat the Cold Hearts towards the end of every game when they got John Ed, Trey Parker, and you know, Bryce Griggs. Yep. Or your ball him. You know, like, how do you? It's not, not bad. <laughs> not bad. I mean? So I think every team has a very interesting dynamic. Help, 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 help. Yeah, we saw the star Thompson hit the three on one end. Is they're back to work here on the offensive end. Oh, beautiful finish. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Athleticism, man. Damn. Sar Thompson back to back buckets. J Mart looking looking for the pass up the lane. Jay Gort going the other way. Ready to get back. And the rebound from Almanza, taken away by Buley. Got to finish that. You see the three in the corner from Asar, and then back-to-back -back buckets. And, you know, you can see his versatility right there. He's got the corner three, and then, and then the drive to the left. Getting better every kiss day. off the glass. Press. Getting better every day. You know, you see Alex Sar in the paint here, and, and, and you see his size, number 20. What can his ceiling be? Because that looks like a that looks like a prototypical NBA player as K9 Carlisle drains it from Great behind shot. the arc. Back, 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 Alex, back. Alex, he has all the tools. You know, get in the weight room, change his body up a little bit. That's the missing component. Mm -hmm. you get that. He's able to, you know, body people at that size. His position, he's versatile. A lot like Tyler Smith can do it all inside out. Um, sharpen up his handles. He's gonna be special. You see Coach Fanning talking to Sar and his bench right now. Always talking. Jay Gore, oh, oh, nice oh, shot. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, get in front. Get in front. Square. You square. You square. You know, that jumper from Jay Gore looks a lot smoother compared to season one. How much work has he put in to, to getting that to where it needs to be? Ball player. He's been playing basketball all summer long. Played in here in Atlanta at the ABL. Um, you know, I don't think he ever misses an opportunity to get in the gym. He's always, always doing something. Always, he just loves to play. One of those type of guys that just loves to play the game. So, you know, as much time he spends in the gym, he's clearly going to get better. Just because he spends so much time in there. 
What about his pacing? His pace? Mm -hmm. Oh, his pace is great. He has a pro pace. Much like, um, you know, Bryce Briggs. They, they go out and, and, and change pace, change speeds. It makes them so difficult to guard. Nice finish. Great finish. Amen. Shot, Jalen Martin. The pass, the oh, shot, Jalen Martin. Go, Don, go, Don. Five and a half minutes left. We have a tie ball game. Come on, come on, y'all, come on. If you were one of these scouts execs in the crowd right now watching, what's the number one thing you're looking for? Who competes? Eli Ellis and one. Oh, wanna... sorry, sorry, uh, offensive foul there. Here we go. Sorry, Pick go up. on. Pick I would just want to see up. who competes. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see, the main thing. I'm here because I already know enough about you to know what you can and can't do. I just want to see how you compete in this environment. Um, you know, obviously, I, I tell these guys, they've already watched you. The scouts here, the executives, they've watched you. They know what you can do, they know what you can't do. Yep, 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 you know, that's right. Just not with your hands. It's about just showing the other, the other things. Do you compete? Are you cheering on your teammates? Um, hey, hey, the type uh, of energy that you have. On those walkaway screens, go underneath that team. Are you speaking up? Are you being vocal? Are you being a leader? Put your personality Get the link, get the link, get the link. Right, those type drop, of drop, things. Drop, 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 25, drop, 25. Hey, hey. A little short there. Now, Nas Cunningham, one of the newer players at OTE, high recruit coming out of Jersey. What have you guys seen from him since he's gotten to Atlanta? Super, uh, just an exceptional score. Confident guy. Scores the ball with the best good. of them. Don't foul, don't foul, um, don't foul. Doesn't fear anyone. You know, goes yeah, out there and foul. plays with a lot foul. of joy and enthusiasm, has fun with the game. Um, hands up, just hands up, tell, hands man, up. He keeps working on this game. He's going to be gonna be one of those guys. Good work, Howard. Long, Good work, Howard. Lanky, can handle the ball, athletic, sneaky athleticism. Yep, yep. Weak side. Jaw Jackson going to work. You know, Nas is close with Don Barlow, and, and he was a big reason why he came to OTE. Yeah. You know, oh, and, and, and you see you see the uh, the interception there from uh, from K9 Carlisle. Go, 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 go! Can you talk a little bit about those conversations and, and what Barlow told him to, to get him to come over here to OTE? I told him this was the greatest place on the planet. <laughs> no, I actually don't. I actually don't know everything he told him to convince him. I'm grateful for Dom for, for helping us be a part of that recruiting pitch. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess he told him what he was going to get when he got here. Um, he's going to get better. You know, he's going to compete against hey, I, I, you know, uh, the best man, you in? You players that we, can, league. League. that we have here. Um, you know, and, and, and he's done that. You know, Dom went through these OT pro days, and now he's now he's in in the NBA. Yeah. You know, he's with the Spurs. You know, made their opening day roster. Made the opening day roster. These guys must just look at Dom and say, okay, I'm next. Yeah, you got to. If Dom isn't if Dom isn't a part of some of your inspirations. Something's wrong with you. You know, you talk about a guy that came here with no chance. I'm getting it to the That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Now he's in the NBA now on the NBA roster, worked his butt off, did all the little things, you know, stayed late, you know, came early. Uh, he deserves talk, it. Talk, talk. We ready, talk. Eli, we Just over three yep, minutes left it. here. We have a close game and an offensive foul. Hey, hey, Eli Ellis. Hey, hey, how about a direct hit? How about a direct hit? How about Putting his body on the line. How There's Don. How about a direct hit? Oh, 
Eli Ellis. Eli Ellis, there we go. On both ends of the floor. Good hands. You can't help but notice with just about every player here at OTE, the, the defensive intensity is is serious. It's serious. Oh, yeah. Like there's oh, yeah. there's a lot of trash talking. A lot of trash talking. A lot of people competing. take their defense seriously around here. Competing. Hey, don't, don't be in drop. If anything else, be level at that screen. All right. Hey fellas, come on, man. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Same, hey, hey Keith, I'm gonna see the same thing over. So now we got pick and roll here in the middle of the floor. That guy rolls. He, the, whoever the, the, the man is is still there. That guy on the weak side got a sink. He got a sink. If nothing else, to rebound, but then to steal, to deflect the pass. But if you're late, all you can do is swipe at him, and, and, uh, and that's how uh, uh, Big Josh scored a point. Right? Be there early. Be there early. Okay? Hey, on, on Keep pushing offense. Man, if you're the top guy, stay right at the of that black line, a little bit higher, and just stand it. Use it. Hey, Use hey, it. you, uh, you lead ball handlers, right? Don't be. Uh, we got direct yet, and we got basic. We can go to a two, and it keeps Yo, the floor hey, spread. Hey, right. One, two, three, finish. Coach Lado for the for the Reapers. Coach Tim Fanning for the Dreamers. Two forty four left. Top, get that top though, get that top though. Come on, Josh. So we're still in preseason. Obviously, we had the preseason tip off last week. We have pro day here. I think this is a little taste for the regular season. And one. Good move. Mm. Sorry to interrupt you there on the, uh, on, the on the Thompson and one, but season two. What are uh, what are not just your expectations, but this is but this is this is where it starts, right? Like these type of environments. You know, last week when we had the uh, opening the GMC event. This is where it starts. The competition, the, the team and player identity. All those things start right now. So once we get into league play on November fourth. You know, the, the, the rivalries will be created. Talk, 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 right? The tension will be there. Talk to it all. Competitive juice will be flowing. Um, you know, hoping to have a great season. Jake Hort, the step back three. Go, yeah, yeah. Bang. Yeah, Jake Hort. Hort, the step back three. Bang. Beautiful stroke from Jake Hort. Hey, what have you seen from TJ Clark, number 27 there? He's gonna compete. He's gonna compete. Night in and night out, he's gonna go out there and play as hard as he can. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. A man Thompson flying through the paint. What a pass. Gotta finish here we that. Go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Eli. Go, 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 Help him up! 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 Is uh, the intensity you were talking about? Is that is that it right there? That's it. <laughs> it's picking up now. Don't tell these guys that it's not a real game because right. I mean, he's standing over him during a pro. <laughs> Let's let's look at the hustle here from the Thompson twins. Hounding. <laughs> back tap, back tap, back tap. Uh, go, 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 Jay Gore, go, go. Jay Gore from three again. Call it out now, call it out 
Eli, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kick out or you jump stop, right? Hey, fist, run right? fist. Because now you got to make a decision while you're in the air, and that's not good. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Fist, he fist, fist. Weak side, weak side. Watch, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Good shot. Good pass, good shot. Final couple possessions here. Going back the other way. Hey, ear, 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 ear. Go, go, go. Watch out, Tom, go. Ready up, man. Ready up, man. Ready up, man. Ready up, man. Get out of here. Get our guys out of here. Wrap this thing on up, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me. Hey. Stay with him. Stay with him. Watch out. Watch out. Drag it. Drag it. Drag it. Get back, get back, get back, keep playing, keep playing, we got, keep playing. We got 10 seconds left. Jay Gore off the mark. Damn, you're doing game three too. You can't leave me quite yet. You can't leave me quite yet. I didn't yet. know I was doing game three. I didn't know I was doing game three. My bad. No, you're good, you're good. They're in my ears saying, don't let him leave. Close the door. Uh, you know, I, I'm hearing that Coach Gomes was supposed to be doing game three in the booth with me, but, you know, he wanted to be down on the court, so. Me he, too. Uh, he <laughs> <laughs> me too. We get Coach Lato up. Who, who's not playing this? Who's not playing? So, yeah.